For those days when Mother Nature is working against me, I will be applying my culinary knowledge in the kitchen. For today, I'm preparing a goulash with an African twist. This is what you'll need. You will need red pepper, onions, carrots, potatoes, mushrooms, garlic and tomatoes. And let's not forget the star of our dish, meat. Today I'll be using gemischte Fleisch, that is beef and pork, you can just use beef. In a heated pan of olive oil and butter, add the meat. To give a different flavor, I added some bones. This can be removed before serving. The marrow and fat from the bones add a different flavor to your dish. Add the Italian mixed herbs and the goulash spice to your mix. I use Uncle Kraut spice for all my dishes. Mix the herbs and spices together. Once thoroughly mixed, add onions, mushrooms, bell pepper and salt. Pour tomato puree over and bring to a simmer. So, how did you make the tomato puree slash sauce? Hmm. In the blender I have added the tomatoes which were cut in four and garlic cloves. Add two cups of water, bring to the boil, cover and place it in the oven for three hours. Do not disturb it, let it do its thing. After the three hours have gone by, remove the dish from the oven. Add your potatoes and your carrots. Cover the dish and place back into the oven for a further one hour. And now it's time for the African twist. For this you'll need flour, salt, baking powder, egg, sugar and Italian mixed herbs. In the mixing bowl add your flour. sugar, baking powder and your Italian mixed herbs. Once all the dry ingredients are in the bowl, mix thoroughly. Make a well in your dry ingredients and add your egg water mixture. This is one part egg to two parts water. Add 
Add about a cup full of water to your mixture and mix thoroughly. Consistency that you are looking for is not too wet, neither must it be too dry. Dip the spoon in the gravy and this will allow the batter to slide off the spoon much easier. all the dumpling batter into your goulash cover and place back into the oven. This process to cook the goulash thoroughly will take approximately 20, 15 to 20 minutes. While this is happening why don't you sit back, relax and enjoy another helpful tip. After about 30 to 45 minutes, remove the dish from the oven. Test the dumplings with the knife by poking it. If it comes out dry with no dough sticking to the knife, that means that your dumplings are perfect. If it is still a bit wet, please place the dish back into the oven. Keep my flame going by searing that bell for notification, basting the like button and charring the subscribe button. Don't forget to share with your family and friends.